Teachers are heroes in ordinary times, but these days they're superheroes. Join us today as we celebrate some of these superheroes. Good morning and welcome. Well, it's been so exciting these last couple of weeks talking to teachers and hearing the innovative, creative ways that they've been working with their students and supporting their parents. It's really tough out there. I know for some young students, it's really not that exciting learning with your parent at home. Without, we just stay home and be with your parents all day. Yeah, I know, but the homework's only three parts. Oh, I don't want to do three parts. I want to do three parts later. I, I feel your pain. I think I want to do a Netflix binge later too myself. Well, don't worry, Johnny. That's why we have superhero teachers like Miss Holly Elliott. Her normal classroom is always active and it's really a hands-on experience. So now she's trying to bring that to the homes of her students. So each week she loads up her car with lots of activities and then goes one by one dropping them off to her students. She leaves some of the resources outside and then she reads the messages left sometimes in chalk by her students and then it's always great to leave them a nice message on the way back. Congratulations, Miss Holly Ellie, you are a superhero. And how about a superhero from Delaware, Miss Cindy Price? Miss Price zooms with her parents and students regularly, but what I found particularly impressive was she's mailed home two packages of books to them so far, and she's included a stuffed animal of their class mascot, the llama. And on Thursday night, she does a bedtime story where they all get dressed up in their pajamas, and they put their stuffed animals near their bed, and she reads them two stories on Zoom. Now that's a superhero teacher. And how about Mrs. Angela Gordon, a superhero from Illinois? She has two students in her kindergarten class that are just about to have new additions to their family. So what she does is she's reading them a book on Zoom called Julius the Baby of the World. Julius is the baby of the world, chimed Lily's parents. Disgusting, said Lily. Oh. It looks like Lily is definitely feeling a little left out and what we would call a little jealous of the new baby Julius. And finally, we want to highlight Ms. Sally Thornberry and the teachers of Templeton Elementary School. They put together a video where they lip sync their favorite songs and sent it to their students. So superhero teachers, Mrs. Long, Mrs. Tadoni, Ms. Thornberry, Mrs. Thompson, Mrs. Narducci, Mrs. Vigario, and Mrs. Carvalho. Take us on out. Wow, all great superheroes today. And if you're a superhero teacher or know of one, just drop us a line here at ESGI at success at ESGISoftware.com and we'll try to highlight you. Have another great day.